Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll explain how you can quickly add a document header in Google Docs. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in Google Docs. Adding and formatting a header in Google Docs is quick to do, but can be tricky if you've not done it before. I'll begin by opening an existing document. I can do this by moving my mouse pointer over it and clicking on it once. I'll start by moving my mouse pointer to the text bar at the top of Google Docs. There are a number of options shown here, but the one we're interested in is Format. I'll click once on that to open it. A number of options are then shown, and because I'm interested in opening the header section of the document, I'll move my mouse pointer down to the Headers and Footers option. Let's click on that to choose it. A box then appears that asks you to define how you want the header to be applied. The first section asks you to confirm the size of the header and the footer in this case. By default, this is set to half an inch in width, but you can change that just by adding in your own dimensions. You'll see the header and footer can use different width sizings if you prefer. The second part of the box asks you to confirm if you wish to only apply the changes above to the first page of the document. It's quite common to use a different header style on the first page of a document particularly if you use this as a title page, so you should choose that if it suits your document. To confirm any changes made, I'll click on the large blue apply button. We've returned to the original document. Now that we've set up our header, we can quickly access it by double clicking at the top of the document. The header section is then displayed. Any text you enter into this section will also be shown on every other page of the document. One other useful feature to show you regarding headers is page numbering. You can access this by clicking on the blue options link on the right of the page. A number of options are shown, but we'll choose page numbers. A small window is then opened that asks you to confirm how you want your page numbers to be displayed. You can choose to add it to either the header or footer of each page. And if you prefer, you can either start page numbering on the first page of the document, or as is more common, choose not to show numbering on a first or title page. You can do this by unclicking this option in the dialog box. By default, page numbering will start at one, but you can choose to start at a different number if you prefer, simply by amending it. To confirm those changes, I'll click on the large blue apply button. You'll see a page number has now been added, but it's shown next to the text I entered, which doesn't look very good. To fix that, all I need to do is click to the left of the page number and I'll use the tab key to move that to the right. Once I'm happy with the positioning of the page number, you'll see if I scroll through the document that the position of the page number has also been copied to every other page. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like this video or subscribe for free so that you can find out when new guides are available. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.